Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue from question number 15 of exercise 4.2. Now, see. Two solid spheres made of the same metal have weights 5920 gram and 740 gram respectively. Determine the radius of the larger sphere if the diameter of the smaller one is 5 cm. See, diameter of the smaller one is given. So, I can say given diameter of smaller sphere is 5 cm therefore radius of smaller sphere will be 5 by 2 cm ok let v1 and v2 be volume of bigger and smaller sphere respectively respectively means I know many of you know still volume 1 for bigger and volume 2 for smaller understood this so I can say here that bigger volume is v1 smaller is v2 v1 by v2 is equal to what is the formula for volume 4 by 3 pi r cube because the radius of bigger sphere we do not know larger sphere and smaller one is 4 by 3 pi again r cube radius is given 5 by 2 cube when we will solve this you will get volume is 5920 740 here you can cancel 4 by 3 4 by 3 pi pi cancel r cube 5 5 is a 25 is a 125 2 2 is a 4 2 is a 8 will go here when we will be solving this you will get r cube is equal to 100 and 5 8 is a 5 9 2 0 only so 8 8 you will get cancel r cube will be 125 and radius will be 5 centimeter this radius is remember smaller r is representing the bigger radius bigger spheres radius ok now this is what we were supposed to find in question number 15 now question number 16 see the water of a factory is stored in a hemispherical tank whose internal diameter is 14 meters ok hemispherical tank diameter is 14 it means I can say radius is 7 meters ok the tank contains 50 kiloliter of water ok so I can say volume of hemispherical tank is 50 kiloliters what is the volume of hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r cube ok then if this is given then I can say see it is 50 kiloliters now you can say volume of hemispherical tank is this the tank contains 50 kiloliters of water see I cannot say that this volume is equal to this why if they would have said that the hemispherical tank is completely filled with water of 50 liters then we can say okay these both are equal okay now water is pumped into the tank to fill to its capacity they are telling us that you have to fill its full capacity find the volume of the water pumped into the tank so you can say that there is already 50 kiloliters of water okay this is 50 kiloliters of water they asked us to fill its full to its capacity so first we have to understand how much is the volume of hemispherical tank this is we cannot write 50 kiloliters so volume I will find here 2 by 3 22 by 7 radius is 7 cross 7 cross 7 and you will get somewhere around 718.67 meter cube remember this 1 meter cube is equal to 1 kiloliter ok so therefore total capacity of tank is 718.67 kiloliters 50 kiloliters is already there therefore volume of water to be filled 
or you can say to be pumped into the tank into tank is equal to 718.67 minus 50 is equal to 668.67 kiloliters this much water we have to put into our hemispherical tank simple now question number 17 a cone of maximum size is carved out from a cube of edge 14 cm okay so here we have a cube so you are taking out a cone out of this so i can say cone if you are taking out this is the cone you are taking out now they are saying edge is 14 cm so this is 14 cm find the surface area of the cone and the remaining solid left out after the cone is carved out see there is a cube out of that cube you have taken out a cone now understand they are asking us the surface area of cone and of the remaining solid how will you find it see i can say given is for cube height is given cube height is 14 cm for cone i can say that see this is the cone okay it means the diameter of the cone is 14 cm i can say here diameter is 14 therefore radius is 7 cm now first understand we are supposed to find out the slant height i will tell you why let's be with me l square is equal to r square plus height square so radius is 7 square c this radius will become 7 only and because this is cube so this is height height will be 14 only understood so 7 square plus 14 square l square will be 49 plus 5 70 14 14 sorry 14 only 196 that will be 245 so l will be 7 root 5 this is your slant height now how much is the total surface area of the cone it is pi r l plus r for this we required slant height that's why we are finding the slant height pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 l is 7 root 5 plus 7 22 7 7 cancel again taking out the 7 common from the bracket root 5 plus 1 so you can write here 154 root 5 plus 1 cm square this is your total surface area of the cone what else we have to find we have to find look at the question surface area of the cone and of the remaining part the remaining part will be c TSA of remaining solid will be C. First, we will take the entire area of the cube, so 6a square. Then add in it the cone pi r l. Remove pi r square. Why pi r square? Because see this area, the circle. The so circle means the base of the cone that we are taking out. So that area you are taking out. So minus pi r square. so while solving this it will become 6 into 14 square plus you can say pi r common l minus r 196 into 196 plus 22 by 7 into 7 7 root 5 minus 7 so it will be 1176 plus 177 can be cancelled and if i write here we can take common i'm just breaking into step 22 multiply 7 common root 5 minus 1 1176 1 154 1 five minus 1 then 
1176 plus 154 root 5 minus 154 it will become 1022 plus 154 root 5 this is your total surface area please remember to put the unit centimeter square okay now moving further to the question number 18 c what does it say the adjoining diagram shows a model of a rocket consists of a cylinder surmounted by a cone at one end okay the diagram we have here is this one Okay. Now the dimension of the model are common radius 3 centimeter. This radius is 3 centimeter. Height of the cone is 4 centimeter. This is 4. And total height is 14. Total height means from here to here it is 14 centimeter. If this is 14, you can say this is automatically 10 centimeter. If the model is drawn to scale 1 is to 500, okay, it means whatever data is given that is 1. Now we have to do the 500 times of this. It means, see, this is a model of a rocket, you can understand, okay. So it is just the model. So what is the size of the rocket? Understand this. If radius is given here 3 centimeter, so you have to convert that into 3 into 500, that will be 1500 centimeters. If height is given 4, it means it is 2000 centimeter. If second height, it is that height of cylinder is 10, it means it is 5000 centimeter. Understood? This is height of cone. Understood? This is what they want to say from this 1 is to 500. You had to multiply all by. 500. After this, they are saying the total surface area of the rocket in pi meters. It means you have to find the total surface area of the rocket. How will you find? See, in pi meters means they have told you not to solve the pi. Okay, do not put the values for pi. So, total surface area of rocket will be C. First will be the total surface area of the cone, then total surface area of the cylinder, then total surface area of this circle, okay, the base. So I will write here pi r l for cone, 2 pi r h for cylinder, then pi r square for base, pi r common, l plus 2 h plus r. There remember this is the height of cylinder. So, what we will do, we will just write the capital H here, 2 pi r h, h, height of the cylinder b, h, okay. Now, so you can say pi, radius is 1500, l is 2500, plus 2 into 5000, R is 1500. So, solving this, it will become 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pi centimeter square. Now, it is in pi centimeter square, we can convert into meter square. Remember, 1 meter square is 10,000 centimeter square. Okay. So, you can say 2100 0, 0, pi meter square. This is your total surface area of the rocket okay now what else they are asking this is your first part second part says the total volume of the rocket how will you find the total volume total volume of rocket is volume of cone plus volume of cylinder It means volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h, volume of cylinder is pi r square h, then pi r square is common h by 3 plus bigger h, 
phi r square is 1500 square 2000 by 3 and height of the cylinder is 5000 you can write here 2,25,1,2,3,4,5,17,000 by 3 ok we have just taken the LCM of that after this you can write here it will become 1,2,7,5,0,0,0,0,0 centimeter cube converting into meter cube it will become 1,2,7,5,0 meter cube understood there will be some zeros extra here but two more zeros will come i am converting into meter cube by c one meter cube is equal to one two three four five six centimeter cube okay so one two three four five six this will be your answer now this is into centimeter cube so find your answer in the meter cube why because they have asked you to find in pi meters pi meters okay do not solve the pi so we have kept 12750 pi we have to put here pi centimeter cube 12750 pi meter cube simple now question number 19 see what does it say a toy is in the shape of a right circular cylinder with a hemisphere on one end and a cone on the other. Okay, so I can form here this is the cylinder, this is the cone, and hemisphere. This is the hemisphere. The height and radius of the cylinder are 13 and 5. So height. radius are this radii of the hemisphere and conical parts are the same obviously this will be also 5 only now that calculate the surface area of the toy if the height of the conical part is 12 so height of this conical part is 12 you have to find the surface area to find the surface area you will need the l we all know that so first we will find the l l square is 12 square plus 5 square and that is L square will be 144 plus it is 25 so 169 this is L square so L is equal to 13 ok after this total surface area is surface area of the cone is pi R L surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi R H and surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi R square the formulas you have to remember then after this taking pi r common l plus 2 h plus 2 r 22 by 7 into 5 13 plus 2 into 13 plus 2 into 5 x 110 by 7 13 26 plus 10 it will be 770 centimeter square okay now that's all for today we'll solve from question number 20 in the next video thank you so much